Greetings. This devotion is for the 31st of December, um, New Year's Eve, um, as we say goodbye to 2020 and say hello to 2021. Um, before I read this, I just want to at least say to you, I wish you um, a most peaceful celebration and whatever you're doing, I do pray that you are safe and okay, and in God's care. Reading from John 8, 12 to 19. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Then the Pharisees said to him, you are testifying on your own behalf. Your testimony is not valid. Jesus answered, even if I testify in my own behalf, my testimony is valid because I know where I have come from and where I am going. But you do not know where I come from or where I am going. You judge by human standards. I judge no one. <laughs> Yet even if I do judge, my judgment is valid. For it is not I alone who judge, but I and the Father who sent me. And in your law, it is written that the testimony of two witnesses is valid. I testify on my own behalf, and the Father who sent me testifies on my behalf. Then they said to him, Where is your father? And Jesus answered him, You know neither me nor my father. If you knew me, you would know my father also. So, as, as is typical... Jesus is going back and forth with, with the religious leaders. It, it, it is clearly right a very, very common theme. Um, and and thing is, it doesn't even matter what Jesus is talking about. It, 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 really, it has nothing to do with it. Um, the religious leaders are trying to undermine him. That, that's what they were doing. They saw him as a threat. Of course, it never works. But it never works in part because they're not able to hear the message that Jesus is trying to share, right? And, and, and the only way they're going to hear this is if they give up their own dependence on the law and on their own traditions. Now, here we are on New Year's Eve, right? Talk about a holiday and a time and even an evening that is wrapped tight in an awful lot of tradition that we can't do. Or we can't do in the way we did, right? So I'm, I'm going to suggest here <laughs> that we don't get wrapped up in lamenting how much it has changed. But rather, we take the opportunity for the, ch the change, the time, to, to focus on, on God. We have this extra time, right? Take the time to focus on God and how God will walk with you in 2021. Let us pray. Dear God, we pray for a peace-filled New Year's. We pray for a year that is filled with God. Dear God, as much as we don't know what this next year will bring, we do know that you will be with us. Help us, dear God, to depend on you. And not to look around and see how things have changed and lament what we can't do. But rather focus on the love you have for us. We pray for peace in the world, in this country, dear God. We are so divided, so struggling. And dear God, we ask for your peace. Peace as well, dear God, that we would all be patient as we wait to receive a vaccine. And while we are patient, help us, dear God, to do what we can to protect each other. 
Dear God, we pray all these things through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.